Eric and Courtney Waldrop, were already proud parents of three sons, Sailor and twins Bridge and Wales, when they decided to try for a fourth child. But Courtney had a miscarriage soon after giving birth to her twin boys. When the childhood sweethearts decided to expand their family again, they couldn't have imagined in their wildest dreams what was in store for them next, having not one or two, but six children. So, how did the miracle sextuplets exactly happen? In the beginning of 2017, when Courtney decided to try again, her doctor put her on a low-dose fertility hormone to ensure she won't carry more than two babies, which obviously didn't work, as she soon became pregnant with sextuplets. And soon after, the Waldrops began documenting their new chaotic and fascinating life as soon-to-be parents of nine children on the docuseries Sweet Home Sextuplets. After the birth of their six babies, Rivers, Rain, Rawlings, Locke, Blue, and Tag. The show gained further momentum, becoming an instant hit. The sextuplets, who debuted on the reality series when they were inside their mother's womb, are now over three and a half years old. Viewers who've watched The Waldrop since the show's premiere in September 2018 have been on a roller coaster with the family and experienced numerous special moments, both exhausting and heartwarming. And yet there is so much more to learn about this extraordinary family. Since the show is on a hiatus for the time being, with no dates having been announced for season 4, let's take a look at what the Waldrop family has been up to. Looking after nine kids is an expensive undertaking, which explains why despite starring in their own reality show, the Waldrop couple started selling handmade jewelry online to supplement their income. The jewelry, which is available on the family's website, includes a selection of earrings, bracelets, and necklaces. Courtney admitted in an earlier Facebook post that the business was thriving, with some items selling out as soon as they were made available. The Waldrips have strong Christian faith, which they claim was a big factor in their decision to do the show in the first place. We didn't go into this wanting to be, I don't even like the word, celebrities. Eric told the Today Show, We want to show the world what God has done for us, and how much we've been blessed by this situation. We want to show America how good God has been to us. The Alabama-based couple does not have personal Instagram accounts and instead opted for a combined one named after their faith called God's Divine Nine. They have over 507,000 followers and regularly post photos of their individual babies as well as of the whole family, celebrating all their milestones. The proud parents recently took their sextuplets to see the farm. Sharing picturesque photos of her children interacting with cows, Courtney jokingly wrote, Farm life is the best. Now we need some pigs, goats, and chickens, and we'll have it all covered. Most of the comments, however, catered toward the status of the show's season 4, as fans have been eagerly awaiting some good news. In another upload, the former teacher shared a photo with her husband, where both are dressed up for a romantic night out. Loved getting to have a little night out with this guy. We don't get out much, she wrote at the end, which is hardly surprising when you have to look after nine young children. In March this year, the couple updated fans about the construction of their home, sharing a photo of Eric and one of the boys in front of a storm shelter. The caption said, Getting a little closer every day to being finished with our master bedroom, master bathroom, guest bathroom, and storm shelter. Thankfully, our storm shelter is finished enough we can get in it if we have to. Viewers might recall that the family initially had to move out of their house to get some remodeling done, since their house couldn't accommodate the huge brood of eleven. During construction, the Waldrop clan temporarily set up residence in a mobile home next to the site of what would eventually be their new abode. Quarantine has been hard for everybody, but imagine being stuck in a mobile home with nine children. Unfortunately, the Waldrops had to live through it. When schools closed, the family's problems only aggravated and even made it impossible for the crew to film them in such a confined space. Courtney gave a glimpse of what the family's life has been like to quarantine in a cramped mobile home with nine children amidst the global pandemic. It was already hard with 11 people in this tiny area, she said. We were counting down the days to get to move back into our house. Then when quarantine hit, it's like everything shut down. It has been a challenge for sure. Eric also confessed that it was their faith in God that helped them survive the situation, which otherwise seemed impossible. Hopefully, the next season will get renewed soon, and we will get a full tour of the completed house. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.